How much focus do you need to stay on top of your game? You need the focus of an eagle. Lots and lots of it. Because one wrong move and you'll be kissing the ground faster than a tennis ball. Just ask Jeannie Bouchard. She was the world's most marketable tennis star. And now, she's just another failure whose downfall and story is going to help our YouTube channel gain some views. So, what happened with Jeannie Bouchard? Well, you're about to find out. Now, hold your horses there for a moment. You probably already know who she is right? Or not? Anyways, here's a brief intro just in case. Born on the 25th of February 1994 in Montreal, one of the largest cities in Quebec, a province of Canada, Jeannie is by far one of the best tennis players the country has ever seen. And it's not just because she became the first Canadian tennis player to ever reach a Grand Slam singles final. She also made it to the semifinals of three Grand Slams, and rose to a career-high ranking of number five in the world in a single year. And the best part? She did it all at the age of 20. That's how good she was. Now, let's be clear. Jeannie's rise to fame wasn't an overnight miracle. It took an insane amount of dedication, countless hours of training, and an extraordinary junior career. And when I say countless, I mean she practically came out of the womb swinging a tennis racket. Okay, well, maybe not that early, but she started playing at the tender age of three years old. You probably think that starting out early isn't such a big deal. I mean, after all, hundreds of athletes start their career early and still don't make it to the top. But hey, Jeannie was exceptional. Even a blind man could see that. In fact, her exceptional talent caught the eye of her father, Mikel, who saw an opportunity to cash in on his daughter's potential. He created Tennis Mania Limited, an investment company where people could fund Jeannie's training and, in return, they'd get 10% of all her earnings when the cash started flowing in. Sounds like a pretty good deal, yeah? Well, unfortunately, 12-year-old Jeannie was forced to leave Canada with her mom after her parents' divorce. With that, she was permanently separated from her dad and her twin sister, Beatrice. But on the bright side, she moved to Florida with her mom, and that meant that she had more than enough time to focus on her training. Now, here's where things get interesting. Although a judge ruled that Tennis Mania had no legal claim over Jeannie's earnings, because she was a minor when the contract was made, she proved to everyone that she was worth every penny of the investment. After having a terrific junior career, the Canadian turned professional back in 2009 at the age of 15 and began competing in lower tier tournaments to gain experience and improve her rankings. And boy, did she make her mark. In 2011, she won the Canadian Under-18 Indoor Championship and even reached the final of the Junior Wimbledon doubles event. But that wasn't enough for her. Bouchard went on to win the Wimbledon's girls' singles title the following year, and with that, catapulted herself further into the spotlight. For anyone that was watching, it was clear that the Canadian was the nation's next big thing. And for Jeannie herself, it was the validation that she needed to climb her way to the top. In 2013, the world of professional tennis stood witness to Eugenie Bouchard's dazzling ascent as she transformed from a promising young talent to a formidable force on the international stage. She made her way to the WTA final in Osaka, Japan, leaving a trail of opponents scratching their heads in disbelief. By the end of the season, her ranking skyrocketed like a firework on New Year's Eve, landing her at a cool 32nd place in the world. In 2014, Jeannie Bouchard unleashed her tennis fury at the Australian Open. With the precision of a mastermind and the agility of a ninja, Bouchard's performance was a tennis masterpiece. She stormed her way to the semifinals and dominated higher-ranked opponents like it was a piece of cake. Her incredible performance at the Australian Open helped her make her way to the top 20 of the world rankings. But like that wasn't enough, the Canadian also made a semifinal appearance at the French Open, made it to the finals of Wimbledon that year, and a debut WTF title. With that, her career ranking rose to number five in the world, making her the first Canadian in both male and female to ever achieve such a feat. Now, like you would expect, that's when the cash started rolling in. And it wasn't just from her on-court earnings. You see, big brands are always on the watch for the best personality to embody their values. And with such an impressive portfolio, it's no surprise that Jeannie became an endorsement magnet for the biggest brands in the market. And the best part? Jeannie had one of the most stunning looks in the whole of tennis history to top it off. 
I mean, look at her. She had the skills, she had the looks. So what in the name of little fuzzy green tennis balls actually happened? How did Jeannie Bouchard go from being the best player Canada has ever seen to losing her entire tennis career in less than two years? The answer to this is still very shady, but one thing is crystal clear. Being a professional tennis player is more than those mighty shots and serves, so talent alone is never enough. And in the Canadian's case, her talents could only take her to the top, it couldn't keep her there, despite having earned the 2014 WTA Most Improved Player Award. If there was something she proved in 2014, it's that she was a badass on the court, and that she had the potential to dominate female tennis with just a little more effort, determination, and of course, focus. Yeah, focus. Hmm. It kind of seems like that's the one thing that the Canadian didn't have. You see, being a professional tennis player is hard, very hard. And it's not just because of the apparent demands of training. Behind the scenes, tennis players still have a lot of training to do, but this time without hitting balls. They have to learn how to manage fame like a pro, without letting all of the attention they get shift their focus from their goal. For Jeannie, the attention that she got as a new generation tennis star came with a lot of benefits, like making her a couple of millions through influencer and ambassador deals. But it also came at a cost, a very expensive cost, her tennis career. It's no doubt that Bouchard burst onto the tennis scene with great success, reaching the Wimbledon final and achieving a high ranking at a relatively young age. As a result, she faced heightened expectations from the fans, the media, and even herself. And if we're being honest, dealing with the pressure and managing high expectations can be mentally demanding for any athlete, especially for a young player trying to establish herself in the highly competitive world of professional tennis. The pressure to consistently perform at a high level and live up to early success can create added stress and affect a player's confidence and focus. It's no wonder that Jeannie found herself struggling to keep her focus. So much so that she started seeking solace in the sweet temptations of fame and attention. The good thing is that it worked, but on the flip side, her career took the hit. Because how else do you explain how she went from having a win-loss record of 41-24 to to this, 12-18, in just one year? But sadly, that was just the beginning. Because just as Jeannie's social status grew, her tennis performance continued the decline in the following years. 11-20 in 2017, 15-14 in 2018, 4-10 in 2019. And by 2020, Bouchard has fallen from a world ranking of number 5 to 330th in the world. Now that's what you call a fall from grace. But hey, it's not until we read between the lines that we actually realize that the decline in Jeannie's performance might not entirely be her fault after all. Because on September 4th, 2015, something happened that changed the Canadian's life forever. You see, after her third round mixed doubles win alongside Nick Kyrgios at the 2015 US Open, the Canadian apparently lost her balance on a wet floor. The result? She ended up falling backward and also sustained a major head injury and a bruised elbow. Ouch. It was so serious that Jeannie didn't just have to withdraw from the competition, she also had to forfeit the Wuhan Open the following month. But it wasn't until the China Open that we realized how bad her situation was. During her opening match at the tournament, the Canadian was forced to withdraw from the competition once again after she complained about a severe migraine which was accompanied by dizziness. Now, if we're being honest, this has to be the toughest thing that could happen to a tennis player. In Jeannie's case, it was even worse because tennis was the only thing she knew how to do. And not being able to play tennis meant that she was missing out on a lot of cash prizes. We're talking about millions of dollars here. Anyone in her shoes would go absolutely nuts. So we can't really blame Bouchard for filing a lawsuit against the USTA, a lawsuit that took her from dominating the tennis courts to going back and forth in courtrooms for three whole years until she finally won in 2018 with the USDA found liable for 75% of all damages. But despite winning the case in the courtroom, it's undeniable that the Canadian lost the battle of gathering the pieces of her career on the tennis court. Even the USDA pointed out that she was fighting the wrong battles instead of focusing on the actual goal. And in response, the Canadian posted a video of Serena Williams introducing Beyonce at the Video Music Award. But what got people really talking was not just the video, it was the words that she attached to the video. You should be focused on the US Open. Oh no wait, 
your Serena. Like you would expect, her tweet came with a lot of backlash for even trying to compare herself to the best female tennis player in history. But more than that, it was crystal clear that the once upon a time Canadian sensation had somehow managed to fumble her career just by losing focus. At least she still got to cash out on her newly acquired social status. What do you think about Jeannie Bouchard? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to learn more interesting things about your favorite tennis players.